Okay, so now we look at the roles of hormone in spermatogenesis. Okay, so for this one, you have to know what are the hormone involved in the process of spermatogenesis. Okay, so macam mana kita nak explain? Firstly, apa-apa pun, dia mesti kena start dengan hypothalamus. Okay, so what happened to hypothalamus? It was secret GnRH. So what is GnRH? GnRH is gonadotropin releasing hormone. And then GnRH here it will stimulate anterior pituitary gland to secrete luteinizing hormone or LH and also follicle stimulating hormone. Okay, or FSH. Okay, so kalau kita tengok dekat sini, okay, hypothalamus secrete GnRH. GnRH stimulate anterior pituitary gland to secrete LH and FSH. So remember, GnRH is gonadotropin releasing hormone, LH is luteinizing hormone, FSH is follicle stimulating hormone. Okay, then we go through one by one. Okay, what happened to FSH? FSH will stimulate Sertoli cell in the seminiferous tubule. Okay, so Sertoli cell will facilitate sperm development by nourish or give nutrient to spermatids. Okay, so here kalau kita tengok dekat sini. Okay, this one saya akan tambah point eh. Maksudnya you have to mention. Okay, here FSH stimulate. Sertoli cell Okay So once Sertoli cell is already Stimulated So Sertoli cell facilitates sperm development By nourish or give Nutrient to the spermatids This one macam kita dah discuss dalam Proses spermatogenesis Okay beside that Sertoli cell Also will secrete inhibin What is the function of inhibin Inhibin will inhibit FSH secretion Okay, by anterior pituitary gland. So, that's why kalau kita tengok based on this one. Okay. Apa yang inhibin ni akan buat? Okay, let's say if the sperm count ataupun kita kata bila kita kata proses of spermatogenesis berlaku dengan uh, level yang tinggi ataupun sperm count is increase. So, what happen? Sertoli cell will secrete inhibin. Okay, so inhibin will inhibit anterior pituitary gland and reduce the secretion of FSH. So, actually this one ni adalah negative feedback. Okay, kenapa perlu berlaku negative feedback supaya dia boleh regulate okay, the process of spermatogenesis to occur in normal level. Okay, and then next, LH will stimulate Leydig cell. So, Leydig cell is located in between the seminiferous tubule. So, once Leydig cell is already stimulated, so it will secrete testosterone. So, what is the function of testosterone? It will also promote spermatogenesis and also it will stimulate the primary and secondary sex characteristic of male. Okay, but what happen if the level of testosterone is high? So, the high level of testosterone will inhibit FSH LH and GnRH via negative feedback mechanism. Maksudnya adalah kalau kita tengok based on this diagram. Okay, let's say if the level of testosterone is increased. So what happen to this testosterone? It will inhibit both hypothalamus and also it will inhibit anterior pituitary gland. Inhibit means dia akan merencakkan. So once hypothalamus and also anterior pituitary gland is already inhibit, so hypothalamus will reduce the secretion of GnRH. Okay, so GnRH will stimulate anterior pituitary gland to uh, secrete less FSH and also LH. Sebab kita nak regulate balik the level of testosterone back to normal. So, this one yang kita panggil sebagai negative feedback. Okay. So, I repeat again. Okay. Firstly, hypothalamus secrete GnRH. GnRH stimulate anterior pituitary gland to secrete FSH and LH. FSH stimulate Sertoli cell. Okay, so once Sertoli cell is already stimulated, so it will facilitate sperm development, okay, in the process of spermatogenesis. And also Sertoli cell will secrete in 
inhibin if the level of sperm count is increased. So, inhibin will inhibit the anterior pituitary gland to reduce the secretion of FSH. So, this one we call as negative feedback mechanism. Okay, and then next, LH will stimulate Leydig cell. So, Leydig cell will secrete testosterone. So, testosterone will promote spermatogenesis and also it will stimulate primary and secondary sex characteristic of male. Okay, what happens if, uh, if the level of testosterone is increased? So, testosterone will inhibit both hypothalamus and also anterior pituitary gland. So, what happens? Hypothalamus will secrete or it will reduce the secretion of GnRH and then GnRH will stimulate anterior pituitary gland to uh, reduce the secretion of FSH and also LH. Okay. So, kalau kita tengok dekat sini, okay. So, function of testosterone, uh, it will also promote the primary and secondary sex characteristic of male. So, what is primary sex characteristic? It is any anatomical part of the body which involved in sexual reproduction. Maksudnya, kalau yang melibatkan anatomical anatomical part okay of the male body yang tu adalah primary sex characteristic okay so apa tu secondary sex characteristic okay contohnya adalah growth of body hair growth of facial hair increase muscle mass and strength and also enlargement of larynx or adam's apple adam's apple di maksudnya halcom okay and deepening of voice